Hello and welcome to episode 16 of our Temporborn update for Water Beaver Mod, a playthrough here at Cycle 23, Day 5. And we're going to hit pause right off the bat because we have a water crisis. In case you weren't sure by having all of these uh, water droplet icons above every single beaver in this district, uh, we are not technically out of water, but for all intents and purposes, we're out of water uh, for various reasons both in and out of my control, the water amounts uh, stored in our town are not nearly enough. And the beavers cannot pump fast enough because guess what? When you're dying of thirst, you get debuffs to your speed. And well, I guess the, uh, the working speed, not so much, but the movement speed is a big, big problem. And in fact, we do have beavers working in the water pumps. And in fact, in fact, if we go all the way down here, every single one of these is in fact occupied. There are a couple of you who said in the comments that, hey, well, the reason you don't have any water is because there's no, no, they're all working here. So stop that. <laughs> they are actually working, but we've got a lot of stuff using water. A couple of you said factories are using water. This factory isn't. So I was about to say that you're all wrong, but then I looked at the rest of the stuff. Mechanized kitchen house, of course, that's going to use water. It'll take up to 70, but nobody's working here. The paper mill, however, will hold up to 160. However, comma, nobody's working here because I got rid of them, but it's still using water. Theoretically, it has some stored in it. These guys, screw presses, are not using water because they are crushing sunflower seeds into sunflower oil. Rudimentary sawmill, not using water. And the grist mill, not using water. But that is something to be uh, cognizant of. And our mushroom growers, of course, are all using water. So how do we solve our problem? It's not putting irrigation tower lodges out of commission. They actually don't use very much water. As uh, told to me by the person who made the mod, the answer lies underground. In fact, medium mines have an option to mine for water. So that's what we're going to be doing, is setting both of these to mine for water. I understand nobody's working in here quite yet, but we do have six beavers working here in the medium mine that will be glad to extract some water. And since we already have, let's, let's go back here and count again. We already have now 24, okay, 23, because this one's not occupied, but we've got a lot of beavers. Okay, well now there's even less because this isn't occupied, but... We'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and make these top priority or top-ish priority so nobody gets removed out of there. Uh, we need to get pumping and pretty much nothing else matters at this point because if the beavers die because they're thirsty, then guess what? It's just going to get worse. And for those of you thinking that we were exporting water into the district down here for use in making the spicy sodas... Let's take a look at our district crossing. Go into manage distribution. I'm so glad this has a scroll bar. That's amazing. Um, I actually don't remember where water is. Somewhere, somewhere up here. So many different liquids, my God. Where is, where is water? I can't even, there it is. Water is set to import always, but you'll note in the storage, there is no water. In the storage on the other side to export, there is no water. And if we go into this district, there is no water. So that's not the problem. <laughs> the problem is we just don't have enough water. So setting both of these to be mining for water and in turn deprioritizing. Well, the farmhouse doesn't have anybody working here anyway. Actually, neither does any of this stuff. Supply will last for 1954.4 hours. That's good to know because nobody's working here to refill it. They are in fact working here, even if nobody's living over here. And we are just, we're just in fun crisis mode is what we're doing. So uh, we just want to make sure that we have haulers working, which we do in our pit and ladder lodges. Well, some of them in our other, uh, our other lodges. If I can remember where I put those two story water tight lodge. Yeah. Okay. So we do have haulers. This that's working out pretty well in our benefit. So we're going to unpause. And now we get to see what happens when you set this to mine for water. 
we do only have the six beavers working in here. So let's take a look at what else is uh, going to be slightly lower priority. Uh, metal fasteners, I know we need them, but we need water more. So we're going to, uh, we're just going to have to come back and make some difficult choices a little bit later on. But we really need to make sure that these guys are all uh, all working if possible. This medium mine and this medium mine both have the same priority. But this one has nobody in there because they're all doing other stuff. But I, I will say uh, we are going to just straight up pause these primitive paper mills because they're consuming a ton of water. And still nobody here. Paper mill here. Uh, if I pause this, there's going to be homeless beavers. But, but we have 38 free beds. So guess what? Pause away. So now the paper mills can't suck up any water. I'm not going to pause the mushrooms because we need those. But we can deprioritize the mushroom growing because, well, we have a lot of food already. And we need the water for other stuff. And now we still... Man, that's, that's how many of these jobs were lacking. I have 70 vacancies. 7-0 vacancies. That is kind of hard to believe, honestly. So I guess we're just going to have to be walking around, changing how stuff is set up. I don't think we need this forester to be here. Actually, we could probably get rid of it. Because this guy... Oh no, he can't plant all the way over here. Well, maybe we'll just kind of leave it alone. We just got to get this water situation figured out. Well, I do have 10 of them working one hour for one drop of water. <laughs> Does, it doesn't seem very... Uh, doesn't seem very ideal, but it, you know, it, it's, it's helping. It's helping very, very slowly. And these guys are all toiling away tirelessly. So let's go into turbo mode and uh, see if this helps at all. I, th I think it's going to be one of those things where the problem just keeps compounding until all the beavers are, uh, well, I guess you could say their thirsts are quenched going to be a very, very long and uh, annoying process. Cooking house. Yeah, nobody is, uh, nobody's here. I'm actually just going to go ahead and pause this completely. And yeah, because we, ha we have the extra beds, so that's not a problem. Pause that, and then in this district over here, pause this cooking house as well. Because uh, we just have a supreme need to get water, well, watered. I don't think anything else in here is, well, outside of the mushroom growers, which we, you know, kind of need to feed everybody here. Although I could go ahead and just pause these for the sake of pausing them. Nothing else is going to use water, it looks like. The kimchi just is bramble flowers and cabbages. I don't think it actually uses water. Just the, the, the movement speed debuff just cripples you when you don't have enough water. I know we're dying of thirst. I see it. I see them dying of thirst. Really no way to prevent this. Just the game is punishing me at this point. We just gotta let it go. We did not have an adequate supply system set up. I, I just don't know what else is using water because there's so many different things and most of the recipes are things I have absolutely no familiarity with. Short of playing this mod for what 15 16 hours now so it is unfortunately a uh, big problem but there's not really anything else we could be doing just gotta suffer through it although the number is very very slowly climbing and as beavers are no longer thirsty they'll be able to work more efficiently which means the water comes in faster and so on and so forth. But again, there's really no other way to get around it. So while our crisis is unfolding in real time, hopefully refolding a little bit, we can talk a little bit about other stuff we want to accomplish today. Uh, I'm going to fix a little bit more of storage. Got a couple ideas from reading the comments. And uh, I absolutely have to tell you guys about this. Our crappy windmill, thanks to our, our dear friend Beard Booster Drexo17, is now renamed Big Ben. I cannot actually rename it, but he left that comment. <laughs> I could not stop laughing. So henceforth, this shall be known as Big Ben, a monument to, well, something. And it, it doesn't really tell time, but I think the the uh, real life Big Ben doesn't tell time right now either because they're renovating it or they were last time I checked. But I digress. A little bit of humor injected into our uh, tragedy here, but the water amount is overall trending up. 
if uh, slightly slowly, but we'll be uh, we'll be all right in the long run. I should also. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna pause the library. There's so much water, so much water in the library. Yeah, they can they can just grab all their stuff out of this thing. I should have paused that one first, honestly. So what have we learned? We have learned that it is apparently impossible to keep beavers from dying, even if you have almost 30 people employed in uh, in water pumping logistics. So the cruelty of the mod strikes once again. Also, since we're still waiting on the crisis to become resolved, I had our quest to check and see if you could put windmills on top of industrial storage. My impression is no, because they are not... Um, they're not solid buildings. So right here, this is the three height windmill. This is four high on top of these two things and it is red, it does not let me do it. Just like it would be red if it was the six high, the nine high or the 12 high. So that's not gonna work. Something else that I am just so curious to try. Um, I guess I should uh, just go ahead and start getting rid of this. Uh, if I wanted to put a second level of large warehouse up here, or a third rather. Mod creator has encouraged me to, and I quote, directly smooch the doors from from the comments. So let me let me just uh, let me just show this to you guys. I promise I'm not completely out of my mind. So what what he said to do <laughs> was to take the the pit and ladder lodge tower segment and uh, turn it into a just regular lodge with the doorway facing this way. I don't know if it's going to let me do it because of how things are laid out. But I've been told that uh, that I am actually going to be able to do this. Put this door this way, and then come over here to our storage for our large warehouse. Well, I'm going to have to remove the uh, these things because they're going to actually physically be in the way. So we'll do that real quick. Come on. But he did say that this should work. So let's uh, let's rotate this around. <laughs> The, the doorways, the doorways, uh, be my witness here, the doorways are directly smooching. <laughs> Direct quote. <laughs> but if, if that works, if that works, that is astounding. That is fantastic. I am so curious to see if this actually is possible. So we'll, uh, we'll let them, we'll let them take care of that. See what happens. Now, water levels are going up, continuing. Uh, they're just still thirsty. So once the number gets sufficiently high, we are going to need to put in some more tanks in different places so the beavers can actually drink. And uh, somebody actually asked me why I was continuing to build all of the regular uh, tower segments instead of just normal lodges. And that's because these guys have two jobs and they have six beds, whereas, or, and these are hauling jobs. The regular lodges, if I build that, it's going to have one job and it's going to have three beds and you can't really stack these that easily. What this is just completely integrated with an internal staircase. So forgive me for wanting this to be supreme efficiency. Now I'm going to be very, I don't even know what the word will be. If this doesn't actually work and the guy who made the mod told me to do this and it doesn't work. Well, we're going to have to have some words. <laughs> we're going to have to have some words with each other, but, uh, I'm, I'm optimistic. I think this should be, should be an interesting thing here. All right. Now we still have beavers that are uh, a little thirsty, but they're not showing up here as uh, dying of thirst, but they do show up in the well-being meter as well, thirsty, but it's not all of them anymore. We are more than halfway back to having everyone with a satisfied thirst here, but we continue to uh, lose. Well, we haven't actually lost that many, but we were losing for a while beavers to thirst. Hopefully that stops sooner rather than later. How are things going down here in Bramble Dam? Okay, we got some water stored up here. And interestingly enough, the giant buried tank for spicy sodas is complete. Uh, just in time for us not to be making any more because of water concerns. But I see six unemployed beavers here in Bramble Dam. And guess what they're about to do? They're about to learn the wonderfulness of working in water pump upgrade buildings. Well, once we have metal fasteners, that is, because we kind of don't. 
But that's going to add three more jobs there. And we can actually, if I am able to build some additional uh, levees here, can actually put two more of these here. I'm not sure they're going to be able to actually do this in any degree of quickness, but uh, after what happened before, I think I am firmly wedded to the idea of having as many pumpers as physically possible and doing whatever it takes to accomplish that. So we'll let them take care of that. Uh, who is making our metal fasteners? I'm going to now make this a uh, super important job because we need metal fasteners. We absolutely do. Yep, we've got a bunch of beavers getting water out of here. How thirsty are we? Okay, good. Almost everybody is uh, adequately de-thirsted. That was a little scary for a second. It had a potential to really completely just destroy us. But anything is possible if you have a sufficient enough crisis and a bunch of people leaving comments on how to solve it. So appreciate the advice to uh, all of you, as well as the maker of the mod who dutifully watcher, watchers, watches slash suffers through my videos to help me out. Very, very, very much appreciated. Now, you'll notice this large warehouse is built. This pit and ladder lodge uh, base segment is built. The doorways are smooching and I'm not getting a can't reach this error. I just have a you don't have an idea of what you want to put in here error. So what do we have in here? Berries, pumpkin chips, and what else? Uh, what else are we lack lacking storage of for our uh, foods? We have a rice balls. We have a storage for... Um, we actually don't. Okay, what we're making both of these here, right? Berry jam and salt flavors. So if I do that, then oh, I can't even I can't even click all of these. There's so many different items. Um which one's this one? Berry jam. We actually have probably about an equal amount of both. Well, we'll do salt flavor on this one. And then directly on top, I will put this one, and that could be for berry jam. And now the fun begins of adding additional tower segments because now it doesn't really matter which way this faces, but we're going to uh, we're going to try it anyway. So this guy is going to go like that, and then the base is going to, uh, yeah, actually correctly work like that. So we actually don't need. Uh, because of the way I was thinking about doing this, we actually don't need to have this staircase go around the outside because I can just have this be, you know, completely uh, set up like so. And I can't have the overhangs attached to these because they're not solid buildings. They're not watertight. So we actually don't need to be building any more of this. This is just for construction purposes, which I believe they should be able to build both of these without having any problems. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, this has the, I can't reach anything because there isn't a building attached to it yet. But that will get fixed in due time. Look how much water we have now. Now that nobody is running around screaming, I'm thirsty. Well, they, they all had their water and they're good to go. How are we looking down here in Bramble Dam? Good, water is coming back. And we have unemployed beavers. So I'm going to turn the cooking house back on. Uh, we're still waiting on our metal fasteners, which is kind of unavoidable. I don't have the ability currently to uh, produce metal fasteners here because we don't have enough uh, raw materials coming in. Let's actually check and see our primitive iron works. Um, well, I could put a mine in or I could import coal, but uh, we also don't have any of the scrap metal down here. Except we do, we just can't reach it because there's, well, a forest in the way. And I was going to attempt to clear a path. Maybe we just do this. Maybe we do this anyway. It's going to be hard getting through the brambles. Is um, That's going to be an interesting challenge, but if we uh, if we follow behind with the paths quickly, I think we might be able to do it. We just really have to make sure that we are on top of replacing this as fast as possible. So a nice little detour for the next uh, minute or so to try and uh, put stuff here just as soon as they finish it. It's a very long and arduous process, but if we're diligent, we can make it all the way through. Very, 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 very slowly. And I don't want to just sit here spam clicking because that's annoying. But I, I do know these brambles are going to come back 
extremely quickly with an absolute quickness. Yeah, so that's why I'm just sitting here doing all of this instead of going around doing other things. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely going to take a while. I think the beavers are about to go to bed. Or they should be. Also, that spam clicking sound is annoying. Well, that's the way she goes. What did you do today in your video? I spam clicked where the brambles were for five minutes during a video, and hopefully nobody got mad about it. But that's fine. I think we're uh, we're doing pretty well now. This guy should finish. And then we just have the one at the very end. And we're not going to have to worry about the brambles crossing the path because they're supposed to be on both sides. And then we'll have access to our scrap metal. And that's going to look uh, like a pretty successful endeavor there. This poor guy is working all night long and he's hungry. Who is this? That can let me click on it, huh? Roy Gray, thank you for your service. All right. We have this one left, this one bramble left. And actually, this is a perfect place to put mines. So it's not too terribly far from the rest of everything. So we might we might actually be able to get away with this here. All right. Yeah, just get that out of here, and then we will immediately put in our staircase. Correct orientation assured. I know this takes like eight hours to take one of these things out. There we go. All right, so once that's in place, uh, do I have a building? Because I know we have the wood filling planification lodge. I don't think there's one for the uh, scrap metal. Nope, that's not in that one. I have to remember I'm in the mod. I have to do uh, scrap metal harvesting via scavenger flags, which I will just go ahead and since we have the four... Uh, jobs for beavers open, rather. I think that's for unemployed beavers. Yes. So we'll have two of these. And then up on the cliff face, we will have not a medium mine because that requires materials we don't have. We'll have a primitive mine, which I can actually... Uh, why can I not... Uh, why can I not place this here? Oh, does this... Only, is Okay, so this is a scenario where it will only work two levels, not two or more. All right, well, that's a little irritating. Well, we'll just have this go right here, then that's fine. It's going to be mining for coal, and then what I want to do is I want to come up here, mine this out, so I can just have three of these in a row. I just need this one column to be gone. That's going to require a, uh, a staircase, I guess. Should have access to, uh, to all of this. Yeah, let's try that. I think, yeah, that should work. It shouldn't block them from walking across it. I think that's just a warning sign. All right, drought in three days. Which brings me back to my other question now that the water problem has been solved. Can we build this? The answer is almost certainly no because we do not have enough metal fasteners. Unfortunate, because I really wanted to try and uh, get this stuff figured out. But now I'm, uh, now I'm just so incredibly curious if they can actually accomplish it. So, uh, we're making metal fasteners. We don't have enough coal because I turned both of these into mining for water. So now that one's going to go back to coal. This one's going to go to iron and coal. Um, okay, Just scrap metal. Do I have enough scrap metal? I can't remember where they stored in this thing. 112. I might be able to get away with it. Crude saw blades. Guess what? You're making metal fasteners now. You are also making metal fasteners. And guess what? You're making metal fasteners. So now I got to get these guys back in here. These are fully staffed. Let's take a second here to uh, see where we can take some beavers from. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause temporarily. Temporarily, don't freak out. You might be saying you're an absolute buffoon. And while that could be correct... Um, it's, it's not going to be that big of a problem. I'm just going to pause these water pump upgrades for here. And then I'm going to pause this one here so we can get some extra beavers. So we can have them work in the ironworks. 
just prioritize these by haulers. And there we go. So now they can make all of their metal fasteners and hopefully we'll see if they can get these constructed in the next two and a half days. And by two and a half days, I mean, it's, it's really only about uh, 26 more hours of work, I think. By the time they actually walk back and forth, I know it's an 18 hour day and you got another two and a half days, which means you have theoretically two full working days left, but we all know how this works. A very, very slow process. But I, ooh, if we already have this taken care of, oh, we are, we're golden. We're good to go, man. Look at this. Look at this. We got one almost all the way built and they're going to be, uh, yeah. All right, so that actually paid off and we are not going to forget to turn the water pumps back on. We just needed to make sure that everything was A-OK. -okay. We really only have three empty. Oh, look at all the look at all the children we have. So we need to build some additional letter uh, letters, additional levels of our lodges here. So one of the problems we're going to run into is since I can't put any more levels uh, on this on this thing without having some other scaffolding going up, and I don't have ladders enabled. I probably should, but um, we're going to have a problem here very, very soon where I cannot build any more levels on top of our pit and ladder lodge. But this is pretty cool that this uh, this works like this. We could put a second one next to this one very, very easily if we just uh, dynamited down. And I think we might want to at some point. But having this storage be right here, I think, is a fantastic thing. All right. Now we're building this guy. We should have plenty of the correct... Oh, yep, metal fastener is already back in action here. So I'm going to give these guys back to what else they were doing. Crude saw blades, tools, and um, probably... Oh, we're full on crude saw blades because I don't have storage for, uh, for those. They're just in the glorious storage. I don't know if they can go in any other kind of storage. Um, doesn't look like it. So maybe that's a mechanism designed to keep me from having uh, way too many of those things. But we can also look in our piles. Silicon metal ingots. That's new. Okay. All right. How close? How close is this? Just needs logs. Well, we have logs. That's fine. All right. Metal fasteners, crude saw blades, tools, and I guess I can keep this one on metal fasteners. That's probably fine. All right. And I've got unemployed beavers, which means I now have reemployed beaver in that water pump upgrade. And then I will turn these back on as well. Keep in mind, we do have paused industry right here. And we also have, we've got our gravity batteries that I was going to uh, detonate down below, but uh, this all already all the way down. So we do have a, a decent bit of storage for power for whatever this drought ends up uh, being, but we do have our paper mill paused because it was using a ton of water. And I'm going to have to be careful how much of that I continue to enable as we get back to what we're doing. But the library now, because remember, we are researching for the ENS. I know we, we didn't talk about that at all today because we're kind of in crisis mode, but we are attempting to get, well, actually, we just need paper and dandelion tea. It's just unfortunate that the, uh, well, everything <laughs> requires that kind of a liquid resource. So I'm going to carefully, going to carefully turn this cooking house back on, and we're going to get these beavers in here because we still need to make this. We just, we're just we just going to have to keep an eye on our water and not enable uh, bad decision-making any more than we absolutely have to. So meanwhile, come back here. They haven't really... Uh, oh, they don't have... Really? You don't have, you don't have logs or planks in this district for the stairs? Are you serious? Okay, you have log. You have a log. Harvester's office you got a lumberjack flag. These trees are all marked for cutting. So you're telling me that this one guy by himself can't handle all that? Is our wood felling plantification loaded? log uh, watered? It is watertight. Okay. So I should be able to build it up here. I think that's what we're going to want to do. So that is a two by three building. Uh, take this off at three times speed real quick. 
if I get rid of all of this and then have a uh, have this lumberjack flag removed. I can put the wood felling planification log lodge. I always want to call it the log. Mm. Tongue twisters are fun, huh? But we get this stuff out of here. I can just put that guy right there and then they'll be able to harvest all of these trees just fine. And they can cut the brambles, which we're using for wood. So now the question is, can they get all of this stuff out of here before they have to go to bed? They might actually not stop working until they're done, which is uh, admirable, but also slightly terrifying. All right, uh, this, I think, if I get rid of this, should work. Wood felling a planification lodge. Lodge with a DG. Okay, there we go. All right. Now we just have to have, hopefully, all the rest of this stuff, but that will uh, enable a little bit more action going on here. Uh, did I turn off the gnawing station? I did not. They are just very slow. But hopefully that helps. And now we're almost, almost. Oh, are they out of uh, trees to cut here? Looks like they are. So let's um, get rid of those lumberjack flags. And we were going to cut a path all the way through here, but it appears that I neglected that because, well, the uh, world was burning down, so... We'll just have to remark these for demolition. Let's see what happens. Nine days. Nine day drought. Well, that's going to be interesting. But, but, fear not because this water is stuck behind here. Which means that we'll have these trees and these berries stay green all drought long. Theoretically. All right, so now that's going that way. I'm going to need somewhere to put a lumberjack flag, and it looks like right here is going to be where we're going to have to go because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. These are not marked for cutting, uh, but now they are. And I can unmark this area on this bottom level because, well, there's nothing left to cut. There we go. Make sure I mark this guy and this guy as well. And there is still a little bit up here, but they didn't seem like they were going to be able to mess with that. So I think we're going to just leave these alone for the time being. That should be okay. But I like having water held back here. That's good. And we might want to have a little bit more here once we finally are able to put in the giant water wheels. That was something that I wanted to do. We did not have the science, and we still don't because, guess what? We were putting out more and more fires every single time we do this. Uh, that's uh, that's the way she goes. Now, how are we doing here? I, I know I have the showers paused because, well, they were sucking up a ton of water. Dandelion tea hopefully is working. Oh, good. So now we just need paper, which hopefully I can get away with having this turned on. I mean, we have 2,000 water. In this district, we have 1,900. Well, kind of. So I want to believe that that's working out okay. How are we doing over here? We still don't have... No, we still don't have the planks. So what are these guys doing all day in the log gnawing station if they're not making any planks? Are we exporting the planks? Because we definitely should not be doing that. So I guess now we have to watch these guys. We got five... Five beavers working all day in the log gnawing station. What are they doing? Oh, they're doing nothing because the sawdust isn't being consumed. All right, that's my fault. Um, these are both set to slow mushroom growth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one to fast because it's going to consume sawdust. And then we'll just turn that one back on. So that was actually my fault. Okay. Duly noted. So I think that hopefully we'll resolve most of our problems here. And if this district can be self-sufficient in producing coal, then it can also become self-sufficient in producing the uh, metal fasteners because we'll have actual coal and actual metal here. So that's going to be exciting, going to be a good opportunity for all of them. And we're waiting on planks and logs, as was expected. That problem should solve itself, hopefully, pretty quickly here. All right, now, how are we looking? we got gathering happening. We've got the best Alex 
working at the lumberjack flag. I guess that could be up to interpretation. Um, but I want to see, can I have this facing the other doorway here? I can. Okay, so um, how far up are we? I want to, do we have explosives? Yes. I want to go ahead right here and do uh, and do a blasting to get down here and put another big old pit and ladder lodge tower segment in place. Because I really like this idea of having uh, the housing directly attached to storage that has useful things like food. I think that is a very smart thing to do. Plus, we can use the uh, the little ledge here, which is all sorts of fun. So we'll see what happens. I didn't blast this one all the way down because, remember, we were trying to put one of these giant buried tanks in place, which, honestly, we probably need to have more of anyway. But we also need more beaver storage slash housing to make all this happen. Food-wise, stuff is still looking pretty good. We could improve it a little bit. But we have lots of pumpkins, lots of pumpkins left to harvest. So uh, I think we're doing just fine. All right, so nobody walk in front of the dynamite, please. All right, let's all be cool about this. All right, nobody died. That's good. And again we go. All right. And I solved, solved the water problem. I've got, uh, hopefully... Hopefully ENS stuff almost satisfied minus the paper. It's just a very, very... Five hours to make one... Okay, this is a terrible building. I, I'd forgotten. That's why this thing existed. And we haven't even been really using that much power either. Yeah, this half an hour to make five sheets of paper is much better. And it takes the gears, which we do have. So once those are adequately supplied we should be in a little bit of a better place and we've got power and we have the reserves from our uh, light gravity battery so that's good to see i also i want to try i know this might be stupid might be stupid you make fun of me if you want but um oh it's not going to let me go from here why it'll let me do that one but it won't let me go from here why is that Okay, I okay. I think I get it because they can't uh, they can't directly assemble it from there. It's got to be uh, it has to be adjacent to higher ground, but it can't be adjacent to four blocks high higher ground. That is frustrating. So I would actually be better off detonating this than do, oh oh jeez, come on, man. You're going to do me dirty like that. All right. I see how it is. It's in keeping with the spirit of the mod. I have to respect the hustle. Dynamite goes down. How are we looking over here? Have we started doing well? anything good? We have the stairs. All right. That's progress. Ah, yep. Waiting on the planks and the logs to make these again. We uh, had an idea that was going to be a thing. So are we... Uh, out of storage for sawdust? No, we are not. All right, that works. I need these guys to hurry up and uh, get this done because I, I want to make more doors smooch because that's hilarious. This is actually funny. All right, that's all the way down. And we just have to do this one little piece remaining. And this is what we call density, folks. Beaver density. It's good urbanism to have all of your beavers in a central location with easy access to uh, storage and jobs. Especially if they are all haulers, which most of these guys are. So now the question becomes, can they actually reach another one of these? I think they should be able to. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Unless the beavers end up getting stuck, which would be... Kind of a combination of hilarious and unfortunate. I think that's the last one. Yep, sure is. Alright, did we have explosives put up here? We sure did. Let's 
will just keep going down and down and down. And then what I will do, I guess I could just go ahead and uh, put these guys here as well. Have four of these. And then what we will do is we'll build another one. And then on top of that, because I know they can build up from underneath, uh, I'm going to put in... Uh, might as well just make this a four-way because who knows what else we might have to do here. But um, the metal situation is not exactly inspiring confidence currently, so I'm not going to put these huge gravity batteries. I'll just do the regular ones. But that is going to work out, hopefully, pretty nicely, and we'll double our power storage capacity, although currently I don't think we really need to be worried about it based off of the power draw we have. But we do want to make sure we're keeping an eye on, like we are keeping an eye on our water consumption, which currently is still fine. We have 2,000. How's our ENS architectural blueprint looking? Still need some paper. Uh, this guy making the mechanical blueprint, Sebastian over here in the mechanics lodge, also needs 100 sheets of paper. Absolutely crippling. But we do have everything else coming in, even if it's coming in slowly, so... I guess that's okay. And they did build this. Cool. So now we just have to do the exact same thing. And we'll take our tower segments, put them way down underground. There we go. Build three of them like that. And then the actual lodge building itself. Right like so. And then, well, you know the drill. Turn this thing around. We'll go... I believe like that, and then this one is gonna have Yeah, look look how look how stupid this is. Alright. Why'd you build so much housing for your beavers? You're gonna you're gonna run out of water. Well, we need to have a lot of beavers. Also, it's more fun when you do dumb things like this in a playthrough. Look at this enormous housing monolith we have going on here. So now what we can do is we could take advantage of our side platforms, our overhang walkways, whatever you want to call them. And we can put in our staircase like so, just for construction purposes. I think they should be able to still build this the other way. Oh, we got, okay, no, they can crawl around on top. That's fine. So I guess, I guess we could put something else up here if we really wanted to. But uh, I, I did this. We could have other storage for foods, uh, like we have storage for pumpkins. What else do we not have stored for that we are actually making? Um, mushrooms, maybe? No. Cabbages. Uh, do I have storage for braised cabbage? Let's actually check here. Because it seems like most of our food currently is pumpkins. Um, I have... Okay, do I have a storage for braised cabbage? It's not a huge one. Those guys are fine. Those guys are fine. Regular cabbage probably could use a better storage. In fact, this one on the bottom would be better as just a cabbage storage. And then this one could be pumpkins. Pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. Okay, and that's kimchi. Can't go in there, but it already has tons of storage. Pumpkin chips are fine. Those guys are fine. Oh, stop shifting around. Sunflower seeds are fine. Uh, so I actually don't know what could go up here because we haven't been making all of that quite yet. Uh, grilled chestnuts maybe might be a good one. Um, what else? What is what is this? Coconuts. I think we have to import those. Uh, grapes. I'm not worried about <laughs> weird udon. I always forget that's a thing. Um, sure. Why not? I I know we're making that at some point. Is that in the uh, kitchen house? No, those making mushrooms. Oh, that's what I need to have storage for. But we can't make it because nobody's working here. So let's get them back in here. And I guess I guess I will make this into mushroom stew storage. If I could remember where in the world that is. Okay, that's fried rice. Looks kind of more like a pie. Where is the mushroom stew? Or is that something I can't put in one of these because it has to be stored as a liquid? I, I bet you that's what it is. All right, weird udon. Back to that we go. Let's check our thing here. Um, I don't see. Oh, yep, it is. Stews have to go in the tanks which I guess I can respect. That seems valid enough. All right, got three days left. Our gravity batteries are uh, not looking super hot. What are we waiting on? Planks for this? Okay. Well, we'll be all right. 
now that we have our water situation well in hand. Very, very happy that that's a thing. All right, I'm going to, I know there's some of you who really, for whatever reason, are just militantly opposed to the checkerboard pattern here. But I, uh, I do think it actually works. I don't want to have to have them constantly redoing all of the planting here. So I am going to, uh, I am going to checkerboard it. I just have to actually, uh, get to a spot where I can actually see what's going on. So I'm, that's why we're hyper zoomed in here. Yeah, I know this is absolutely riveting content right here, but I promise you this is crucial to, uh, our survival here. Boy, this is hard to see with all this pink. Did I, um, did I mess this up? No. What a process, huh? All right, so that's going to come back down this way. Yes, sir. There we go. Uh, I already lost it. There are. Okay, those are berries. Those don't need to be. Marked like that. Well, at any rate, I don't need to have every single bit of this marked with this little diagonal pattern. I just want to make sure we're not completely clear cutting. That doesn't end up usually going too terribly well. But that's a decent bit taken care of right there. And, and now I don't have to destroy my eyeballs with pink everywhere. All right. How are we? We still haven't gotten anything done here, huh? on logs well i mean we got logs they just haven't uh, okay they weren't focusing on this building well let's fix that because i think they were trying to build all of the water pump upgrades first yeah they'll be okay they're pretty smart down here in the bramble dam district how are we making spicy soda look at us go 544 very nice did i, I turn this back on oh that's making dandelion tea that's right which hopefully, yes, just needs some more paper and still needs paper and planks. So that's a, uh, that's a process, I'm sure. Grist mill, nobody's working in. Rudimentary sawmill, I guess I can, uh, can go ahead and turn all of these buildings back on. We do only have two days left in our, uh, our drought here. Yeah, I really, really want to make sure we can actually do stuff, but I, I don't think they're going to run out of power. Especially if they finish one of these gravity batteries. That'll keep that going. Should be nice. And, oh, I love, I love that these scaffoldings exist inside this building, even though it's not placed. That's fantastic. I don't think that's a base game behavior. That is very, very cool. Uh, our beaver population continues to grow. Our food supply is still pretty decent, even though it is mostly pumpkins. And water supply is looking fantastic. So I think we've recovered quite nicely from the scare, the scare we had earlier. Definitely say that for sure. All right, so let's put the rest of these in here. Path across like this. Ah, but since this is a corner piece... We actually are going to have to redo how this is set up because they're not going to let me connect because that's baked in. So this is going to need to become another regular double platform. And this will become a side platform off of the building, which uh, I don't know if we'll... Oh, hold on. We're out of water. How, oh, we pumped it all out. That's right. Uh, okay, three and a half days. That's fine. 13.7 days. That's fine. All right. We're good. We're good. I thought, I thought this was going to be so much worse <laughs> than it already was. So duly noted, we will run out of water. So let's, um, oh yeah, that's going to be a problem. Let's make ourselves a, a little bit of insurance here and just have that dynamited down. Obviously, I can't do it where we currently have rice. So what we'll do instead is I'm going to 
unplant a little bit here and there so we can dynamite down and create these little pockets that will uh, hold water for us just right here in the corner. So once those get harvested, we can dynamite those and they will retain a little bit of water. And then uh, we'll do the same thing over here. I guess I could go ahead and uh, just put in a few in different spots that I don't think I'm going to have to worry about. Because we don't have to have this whole thing two levels deep, although we, we might want to eventually. The little, little holes will hold water. And I think, um, oh, I can't even get in there to do the whole thing here, but I can do, I can do something similar over here, I think would be fine. Just a little bit. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. Now we have more storage for cabbages. So that was an interesting problem to run into. Well, we'll get it fixed no matter what. Almost out of power, but... These two guys are on the job. And now we have, uh, once this is put in place, we will have doubled the effectiveness of our light gravity batteries. And then when we have a stable supply of metal, we can replace them with regular gravity batteries. Or does the game call them heavy? Nope, just regular gravity batteries. Now, do we get anything done over here? No, because we're waiting on logs because this isn't done yet and this needs planks. And have we bottlenecked our planks again? No, we have not. Well, it's working. Spicy soda is flowing. And this is looking uh, interesting here. All right, so I've got a couple of these corners I can start uh, dynamiting down for the benefit of our stuff here. I can't remember which one of these it was, but we do want to make sure that we're keeping up with what's going on here. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to want something else over here in the corner. I'm pretty sure I did mark these, unmark these, but I can't tell because they haven't been harvested yet. Thankfully the rice is also resilient. That's one thing I like about this mod is that the crops are resilient to not having uh not having water. The brambles uh <laughs> The brambles being incredibly uh, drown resistant as well as a, a little bit of fun humor. But there we are, beginning of cycle 24, day one. So this probably actually would be a good place to end today's episode, but I do want to see the water come back in. And I would like to see uh, our little uh, hidey holes for water be used and enjoyed here. But I don't think we're going to get that quite yet. So I've got so much other stuff that was set to be dynamited. Well, maybe it's maybe it's fine. We'll see what happens, I suppose. Everything over here is looking fine still because we have the water towers doing irrigation. Ah, but now now we have dirty beavers because they have to take a bath in the river bath, and they refuse to work if they're dirty. Well. Once the water comes through, they can uh, they can bathe as they please. But it's going to be a little bit before it gets back down there. So I think we can turn our tank showers back on. And let those get filled up. But boy, what a, uh, what a... What a fun mess, huh? Well, I think we can sit here at the end of this episode and say very satisfactorily that we have solved our water problem. Even if it was kind of weird how we got there in the first place, uh, we managed to fix most of that. And now the beavers that are dirty can come get themselves clean and uh, stop complaining about being dirty. And we're up over 300 population now. Although I don't think this district is... Yeah, okay, this, this was at 252. Okay. Respectable. And we still, still have all of these vacancies. Well, uh, okay... A lot of that's because of incapacitated beavers, which are quote-unquote incapacitated because they're dirty. Uh, you know, just go take a shower, you're fine. I want to know why we haven't placed any dynamite, and I think it might have something to do with uh, them being dirty and not wanting to work while they're, well, dirty. So let's just take a look and see if I can 
put any more of these down. I think I've already, most of the corners I wanted already taken care of. We just have to let them, you know, actually put them in there. That could be a, could be a thing for next time to try and uh, get done. I know they got lots going on. Uh, dirty beavers are going to take care of themselves. We've got uh, coal and iron and stuff coming back. We have 22, 2300 water being nicely stored. Our ENS architectural blueprint is almost, almost ready to go. Well, almost ready to start being researched for 400 hours. My God, 400 hours. That's 10 work weeks, which I don't know if you have to design a whole college, I guess makes sense, but that's a long time. <laughs> 18 hour days. That's uh that's a couple cycles, man. That's, that's long. All right. Well, it now has all of the ingredients. So we should see that 0% start to turn into a one. Although 1% 1 of 400 hours is four hours. So maybe not until later, but Richard G is hard at work. Allegedly. Yep. Okay. There's that 1%. And now we can turn our attention to Paul Phillips over here in the mechanics lodge, gathering materials for his mechanical blueprint of the ENS and that it's, that's going to take a long time because of all this paper, but that is uh, looking like that's pretty much going to be it. We need to, uh, need to make sure we're keeping an eye on where the explosives are put in place so we can actually, uh, you know, make our little hidey holes for the water to go into. But I think, uh, I think long term we're going to be just fine. I, I've said that like 800 times now, and it, it, it in fact has not been fine. But, uh, yep, stuff is looking up. We've done a pretty good job of recovering. We've got a lot of more beaver housing for the, uh, well, beavers. <laughs> and we've got stuff to go in all of these warehouses. The last thing that I'm going to want to do here is remove these stairs then um let's see what else what else am i going to be able to get away with here that path and then that's going to have to be a overhang walkway all right like so and i guess this doesn't have to be an overhang walkway it probably should since we're here be replaced with these yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll replace replace these with the regular double platforms. Seems like the smart thing to do. Because then we have access on both levels, if we so desire. But that's going to connect all these guys, and then we'll just put in this staircase again. Even though we probably realistically don't need it. Well, it's here in case we ever want to build something else on top of all this. That, my friends... That is a pretty cool uh, beaver apartment building. And we'll see what happens as they uh, continue to build and develop all that. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. We have 21 dirty beavers there, I'm sure, off to uh, take their showers or whatever have you. But yeah, good stuff today. We got lots accomplished, lots of water restored, lots of construction done. We've uh, started setting the Bramble Dam District down the path of self-sufficiency for all of its fun stuff. And once they're done with uh, these stairs, we can have this area blasted out and there'll be, there'll be all sorts of good stuff down here. Yeah. Good stuff. I think I've said that like 800 times, so it's probably time for me to shut up and go away, but uh, we can, uh, we, we can uh, rest accomplished knowing that this has been a very productive episode. And I, I really, really do love this mod. It, it's, it's a shame these videos don't seem to be getting as much attention as they used to. Maybe the people just have tragedy fatigue from watching this be such a disaster. But um, I, th I think we're still going to have a very fun time getting to the rest of this, or at least most of it, before we move on over to update five water beavers, which I'm told is pretty much ready to go. So that will be exciting to look forward to in the future. And I hope you'll stick around with me for that as well. But just wanted again to thank you for being here and for all of your fantastic support, as well as the Beard Boosters making it possible for me to do this each and every day. And I am, once again, very thankful for all of you wonderful people. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is that you're doing. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.